the Mario um, game, like the Mario game that has like five games inside of it, you know? That oh, thing? I think uh, Mario All Stars. Yeah, that thing, and yeah. that had that had uh, the first three Marios plus uh, Mario World and one other game, I think. Oh, you had that one. I had one that yeah. um, had like all the other games. I had Mario World as a separate cartridge, and I was cool with that. So yes, uh, that's Luximus, and I am continuing Super Mario Brothers Three with World yeah. Six. So hooray! That um, one was my favorite one to do speed runs of. Cause like every like every time uh, my brother, sisters, and I would play it, we would get the first two flutes within the first level, oh my and then God, skip yeah. the entire game all the way to the eighth world. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that was an accident. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid. Um, I'm trying to finish off this fucking broccoli here. No, um, I remember when I was a kid playing Mario Brothers three a lot, and. Even though there was, you know, the option of just having two flutes just to bleed through the game, I always loved the journey of it because there were some worlds that I got to check out, and it, like some of which I just loved the, uh, the, uh, the scenery. Like, especially with World Six, like I'm playing now, like in uh, the All Stars port, it looks a lot more gorgeous. Here, it's just like there's a huge like line or streaks or something like that. Like the freaking sky looks all icy. That's that's kind of unusual. Oh. Wait, this is the NES version? Yeah. I went with okay. that one. Yeah. See, the NES one... Okay. You can... Yeah, you can... There, You could tell that there's a huge difference between SNES and NES. Oh, yeah. Mostly because, you know, Super is before NES, which makes everything a lot more prettier. And nice. preferably the one I would choose to play, uh -huh. at least. You know. But that was the only console that I had... Besides the Game Boy when I was young, is the SNES. M Mom and Dad apparently didn't think that the NES was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I love what Birch says. To quote some call me Johnny, this ice world is slippery. Fuck this world. <laughs> it is slippery. I didn't, Scal I didn't mind the whole slipperiness. I mean, yeah, it was annoying and challenging, but <clears throat> I still enjoyed looking at the scenery to the point where like, I didn't care about how difficult the, yeah, like, the stages were. These ice levels aren't as bad as most other uh games that have ice levels oh yeah no um i still think that the best ice based uh or ice or snow based level that i still love playing today is ice cap zone from sonic 3. probably oh. because of the music hint hint yeah. michael jackson <laughs> well when does when does sonic not have good music Eh, okay i'll give you that i mean uh, like in the 3d yeah. era there was a uh, crush 40. I mean, yeah, even in 06, it had good music. Yeah, despite how, like, craptastic the game was. I mean, yeah. that whole thing was a guy, like, a giant glitchy mess. Dude, I am <laughs> so excited to see Anthony C's take on Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, my God. I want to see what he says, because there's a lot to be said about it. I have a feel like, RK, okay, are you trying to, like, bombard him to play a Sonic game? Like, has he never played one at all? No, he's played them. He's, he's been a fan of Sonic for a long time. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which Sonic games does he like? Like, has he told you about that? Um, I think just the originals, one and two. All right. Uh, he, he, like most other critics, has problems with the more of the 3D games just because the formulas don't work as well. And yeah, he's really, um... and he, he and Egoraptor both are kind of adamant on game mechanics. Like, as much as Anthony is into uh, con continuity and story plot in the Pony episodes, he's much into game design uh, with, you know, games. I can understand that. And I'll also tell you this much. Uh, the original uh, Sonic games, like, as much as I do cherish them, I had to admit that it's they're also very flawed because the whole idea and the way it was advertised was speed. But then you run into obstacles and springs that, like, jump you backwards. Like, if you're supposed to take your time, then you don't really speed through the game now, do you? It's kind of counterintuitive. Yeah. And the absolute yeah. worst, like, example of game design was, um, you know, as much as I love Sonic 3, Carnival Night Zone with that spinning barrel. Like, that was a horrible, like, obstacle design. I know. It, yeah. God! Damn it, I ran right into him. Fuck! And I plummeted, I plummeted to my fucking doom. 
You can't just do that, Golden. Get used Not to that. How you play the game. Get used to that <laughs> shit. I actually do have a, a an unusual case of Tourette's. Game Tourette's. Game Tourette's. Yeah, that's uh, that's what my friends like to call. Where Mario it. says where Mario swears in the game just randomly. God damn it, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Rylan thing? That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's Aeon in the back. Oh, it's Aeon. Yeah. Aeon. Still don't know that we're roommates now. Yeah, like, it's, like, like, we've been roommates since, like, April? Uh, March? Okay, May for him. Yeah, so it's been, like, at least four months now. Mm. Yeah, so. That's currently Luximus in the call. How's your, um, your series coming along? Your, uh... <clears throat> Sorry. Well, I'm... I've been on a grind recently. I got motivated to get back into it. Woo! And I... Oh, there's this one huge scene. This huge scene that I've been working on for, like, all summer. And I'm finally getting toward the end of finishing just that scene alone. There's one... It, it's a long scene. It's not, it's not like, anything complicated. But, it's, you know, it's just time-based. Uh, that's really uh, bugging me. Fuck, but fuck. then there's another scene. There's another scene uh, in chapter two that I haven't even started to think about yet, where it's a it's a fight scene. Uh huh. It, it, I will. Yeah, I'll say that it's a fight scene. Oh shit. And uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to do. I even talked to Anthony yesterday, saying, "Hey, when I get there, I'm gonna need some more lines of you being." Pounded to shit because. Ouch. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> we don't well, like that's gonna be like difficult to hear the the sounds of Anthony yeah. singing, making sounds of like grunt noises of getting pounded to hell. God I damn know. it! Well, but like getting uh, voice recordings from Anthony anyway is just nerve wracking because he's got the voice that. It, if he he's doing something for you, you know it's gonna be special, you know. <laughs> uh, I I would definitely be looking forward to it. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. yeah. A very I hope to get it. Damn it! I hope I hope I hope to get it done um by December, if not before. I'm shooting for uh November or not November. Yeah, November. Uh, Thanksgiving. You know what? I... Even that's gonna be a stretch. I, I could yeah. just I could just imagine will Alistair be able to kick some ass? Find out next time in an episode of <laughs> Alistair and Melody. I will say though, the music our music guy is working on a very um special track touching scene touching scene right now. Uh-huh. And it's killing me from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> We got a new sound guy, though. I'm not the one editing the sound now. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So we're upping the we're up in the production for this chapter. That's why it's taking so long. Plus college, but that's relevant. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very relevant. It's like no, no, Al uh, no, Alistair Miller right now. You do school work. No. I know. <laughs> Honestly, the the classes this year they're not that hard. They're they're stuff that I already know how to do. Like the the design class that I have this year is all about Shit. Photoshop, and that's my special, you know, program that I always draw in. So I'm pretty sure to get an A in that class. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't Ooh. think this year this semester should be too hard. The one thing I'm like extremely anxious about this year. Uh -huh. This school year is uh, BabsCon because uh, me, Chrissy, and um, oh, who else? Uh, Silver. Uh, yes. Not Silver Quill, uh, our Silver. Oh, right, right, him. Uh, doing a, a table together like uh, Bliss, uh, Keyframe, and Munchkin did at BronyCon. Uh, where are we gonna- we're gonna get a table together and just sell all our art as one table. But, at the same time, I hope- it, it's- it's- that's- that con itself is in April, and usually finals are in April, so I'm- oh, I'm hoping- shit. I'm hoping that 
the weekends don't clash, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I can only imagine, otherwise, you would have to, like, give a special request to, um, like, your college teachers, like, yeah, there's a thing that I have to take care of in April, and I'm not gonna be able to make it for the finals. I was wondering if I could take them early. Mm -hmm. It'd be hilarious that you would, like, blow their minds, like, oh my god, Luximus, this is... This is impressive. <laughs> and all the other students hey, would be to, jealous as hell. I gotta go to California. So <laughs> okay. Yes, no, um, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, no. Didn't say to Oh, okay then. God, Get I your I ass down my here. Roommate away. She, she, she opened the door. My roommate, she opened the door and she, she almost stepped in. She a fucking she, barn? She heard me talk, and then she just stepped out. <laughs> like, what the shit? Okay, so there's nothing in those. I always like to check those things for some reason. How's the chat going? Let's see the chat. Damn it! Fuck. They're all talking about Jedi. Jedi Pucho. Let's check the other chat. <laughs> Oh, there's a not safe for work channel. Okay. Oh, a not safe for work channel? No, on on your server. Oh, yeah. Not a naughty place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. that. Um, I have a no. section where uh, people can just like throw in memes, a general chat, gaming, video mm -hmm. game, uh, movies, music, you know, all the, all that shit. Oh shit, I almost hit the lead channel. <laughs> I forgot I was a mod. No, I want to mute. There we go. Alright, so I guess I I'm- I saw something red, and I was like, oh, press this. Uh, I have to take care of these fuckers. Oh god, this level. I hate this. Yeah, no, it's like... I wouldn't say it's cr Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, these fuckers are gonna piss me off. I no, hate, like yeah, I hate it for that reason too. You like you have to like specifically fly up to like to an open ceiling somewhere with a feather. Yeah, while you have to like grab like I don't know a shell or something, and it's, mm -hmm. it's fucking ridiculous. Mhm. Mm like it, I remember when I was a kid and I was able to figure that out, and I will give you this much: it did feel uh, rewarding, but at the same time, I'm like, God damn it, did I seriously have to do that? What a pain in the ass. There's, there's a difference between being challenging and just being a complete dick. Ow! A fucking baddie ran right into one of those blocks. Something tells me we're gonna be stuck here for a while. That's what I mean. Is that, like, they give you... Yeah, they give me something challenging, but it's one of those challenges where you're like, I just want to get through this and beat the time. And I don't want to go back and forth between, you know, getting a feather. You know, I really, sh like, I really you know. shouldn't be complaining because I'm especially one to talk when it comes to the, uh, the lost levels. Because the shit that lost levels expect to do is fucking nuts. God damn it, just fucking die. Never mind. I tried Ooh. killing this fucker. Damn it. No, Thumbs, I did not see your last comment. You know, I'm not going to go to that stage. All right, let's see what we do here. Okay, Alright, so I'll go look for it. Thorns said... The last thing he said was, damn stream leg. Oh, are we, ser are we seriously having that shit again? I'm not. I Mine is fine. The thing that cha like becomes challenging is that some people have personal uh, like lag issues, but there's also like general lag issues. And sometimes it's hard to tell between the two. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I love what Mr. Analog says. Fuck that stage I'm out. <laughs> okay, so Thome asked before that. He said, hyper jumping into another topic. Thoughts on how scientific revenue uses software to discriminately adjust the price apps based on financial and gaming information. It finds out about you in order to turn players into payers. Personally, I think it's crap. Um, I... I wouldn't know too much about that stuff. Like, things involving money and such, like, that is something I do have to keep in mind about, but for the most part, I don't think too much about it because 
I don't really have too much of an expectation over, like, how it's gonna work and such. The only time, like, money has ever become, like, an exceptionally, like, good use is with monetization. And even that had its mm -hmm. own problems. It was mostly there to try to fair out uh, issues with, like, copyright claims and such. Where, um, because a lot of people uploaded a lot of copyright content, videos were taken down. It annoyed consumers, so they decided to create this, like, compromise where... Um, okay, how about this? Um, some people can make, like, can make good videos, but there's some videos that have copyright content, and when they're copyright claimed, it's not gonna hurt the companies, and there would be, like, some kind of win-win thing. Like, that sounds fair in that regard. Um, and fair use uh, started to play a huge role, and that's when I was able to, um, file fair use to my videos, and so forth. Like, that's one of the few occasions where, like, monetization or anything involving around finances would, like, work exceptionally well. And even then, it's, like, it's kind of delicate to, uh, even talk about. Get your ass over here. Ow! I hate these black yeah. ball things that spit out fire. I wouldn't know about gaming channels, because I don't play games on my channel. <laughs> I, I mostly do this for fun. Uh, even yeah. then, like, I'm not able to monetize my main channel, oh, like, not main channel, but my secondary channel because it doesn't have the, uh, the criteria. The algorithm changed where it has to get a thousand and over four thousand hours of watch time, which is, like, it's gonna take a while. Like, at the very least, I set up I'm actually scared of monet uh, monetization. No, no, I'm scared of, uh, putting monetization on Alan Mel video, or episodes. How come? Because, like, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, okay, if I did mess up in the editing and someone is going to claim me for, like, a sound I used or something, then the whole video is shit. Well, okay. Uh, that's why I have a Patreon for that. I have a Patreon for the, the, just Alan Mel specifically. I don't think sound clips are of anything to, um... Th th as far as sound clips are concerned, I wouldn't really worry too much about it. I use sound effects all the time. Um... The only time I would ever advise about uh, copyright stuff, don't use copyright music because when that's claimed, it's one of two things. Either they get the full revenue or they do a share revenue and you have to live with a split revenue. Mm -hmm. And you can't do anything well, about yeah. it. Well, yeah. That's why I got it, uh, my own sound guy. Yeah, that's musician. you have your own composer. Yeah, and Jump he's down. really good at what he does. He worked with uh, Duo Cartoonist, Crown Prince. He's now working with Brutal Weather. He does really good shit. Fucking nice, man. And I'm, and he insists that I don't pay him for Alan Mel because this is a passion project for him too. So that's a double bonus. Yeah, I'll bet. Personally, like, even when it comes to like passion projects, like I would still consider like, because it, you do have to reward yourself somehow. Like it's not just working on the vision you want to bring to life. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm only just like sharing my own two cents on it. But, um, if that's what he chooses to do, that's what he chooses to do, and I just got my ass kicked by this thing. I forgot what those guys are called. Um... Uh, Koopas? <laughs> EG Studio said that CMPC, um, that he won't monetize his videos. Alright. I do feel bad about not paying for, uh, my musician's work. I still want to be able to pay him some way. Uh, uh, when I can. That's, I, that's why I, I want to, uh, that's what, that's kind of why I want to try and pitch Alan Mel to Netflix one day. So I can, you know, actually pay uh, the people that work on it. Alright, get your ass up there. I can understand that. Like, when it comes to, um, like, when it comes to artwork, every, like, when, it, um, for the most part, what I do with, uh, like, let's say my MLP reviews, I commission somebody to do a thumbnail art, I pay them. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I see if, like, I check on them to see if they're available for, like, hey, you're doing commissions. Okay, I wanted, uh, I'm working on a thumbnail, or I, I need a thumbnail for this uh, review that I'm working on, you know, stuff like that. There's a bit of a trial and error that I still go through there, because you never know if the artists are available or open for commissions. Um, mm -hmm. And I check and see what the prices are and think, all right, so I got to, like... I got to sort out how much money it's going to cost and what it's uh, going to come down to and such, and... Um, come to a middle ground where um, I talk to the artists and such. Like, I've never really had an issue with any artists I've talked to before. For the most part, yeah, it's always good to uh, give support to uh, artists and uh, other people who would create something in support of your own work. 
And that's that's also why um oh shit. It, it is kind of like diving into like controversial territory, but it's you know the whole respect the artist thing like yeah. Less we talk about that the better. I really got to be careful with that shit. I already shot myself like I already shot myself in the foot the other day talking about a sketch of the changeling. Like he has his opinions and everything, but uh I didn't really approach very well. Yeah, I don't really know much about Sketchy the Changeling. I don't really watch his videos, and I don't really know him personally, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> he's, he's really not a bad dude. I mean, he's chill. He was chill to talk to. Uh, sometimes with his reviews, he can get a little assertive with uh, how he feels on some episodes that people like. Mm -hmm. but, I met him at BronyCon, and he seemed fine. Oh yeah, no, like I spoke to him a few times through Skype. He was cool and everything. So I don't mean to like, I don't mean to demonize him or anything. I probably already have been. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, oh yeah, on the uh, topic of respect the artists. Uh, uh yeah. We, uh, can we talk about how KP does that? <laughs> oh God, this is this is gonna go places. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, okay. The 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 thing is, like, okay, everybody knows at this point what the whole situation is, uh, and I guess it doesn't really need to be repeated. But, you know, at the same time, it's an it's an example of what I personally believe you shouldn't do when you're trying to direct a team. Especially mm -hmm. if it's a team that's creating stuff of your own ideas and, you know, dreams and such. And it's also a big difference between, say, um, uh, an idea of a series and then self-inserting yourself. You know? Uh-huh. your own channel. That's, that's kind of the one thing that pet peeves me the most. I personally don't like uh, stuff where you're self-inserted into your own story. I don't think that's a productive way to tell a story or, you know, display it's, a persona. It's really... But that's also... Go ahead. It, yeah, but that, that's, that's kind of where the revenue comes from, and it's also a dream... You know, for people, that, just in general, I don't like. I won't dis. I won't like diss on anybody that does it. I know people do do it, and I know people can do it very well. I just don't like the idea. But that doesn't mean that people should stop doing it. You know. Understood. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no self inserts. Um, I can see how delicate those can be because it's kind of egotistic. But at the same time, like. I, I can see why a lot of people do that stuff because they like to have their own. They like they like to express how they feel and how they would um, explore something, especially within fan fictions. Like, obviously, you know, writing fan fictions where you self-insert yourself into something, yeah, it, it does annoy a lot of people because it's just, oh, I would do it like this, or I would interact and I would react to this. And while that's fine and everything on your end, oh, thank you for opening that up for me. Um, <laughs> It's, like, it, it's egotistic at the end of the day. Like, it, it's something you enjoy doing. Um, I'm not going to, like, like, I can't really judge harshly at that kind of expense. <sighs> so, when I see, like, oh, fuck. When I see what uh, KP is doing, eh, let her do her thing. How, yeah, too oh, much fuck. their own. Yeah, well. no, um. But if the artists or if the people behind it are not getting paid, then yeah, that is a big, like, that's on the concerning side. Unless they're fine with it, you know, being voluntarily. But, you know, at the same time, if they're doing it voluntarily, you gotta give them the courtesy and yeah, benefit like, of a doubt that they're getting their work done uh, with, you know, with the reasoning behind it. You know? Right, you know, I mean, what's in it for them? I mean, what's in it for me if I'm gonna work with a project with somebody who yeah. wants me to do something for them. Mm-hmm. Yoink. Mm -hmm. Hello, dearie. It's me, Thane Daga. Bullshit you are, Master Code. Oh my Code. god, there's a dirt. Oh. Thane Daga's not even in my server. And there we go, plummeting into the pit again. Because you have a very distinct voice. Yeah, you're right. If it was kidding, that's just that. Hey there, buddy. It's me, Thane Daga. Also, speaking of egotistical people, hi, Master Code. <laughs> I'm not egotistical. I just know that I'm the best. 
Okay, so you know, I'm, I'm, I, in fact, anyway. I'm the very best. You know, like uh, like no one ever was. Yes. To catch Case them is point. my real test. <laughs> to train them is my cause. Hold on, Discord's ringing. Discord, I'm at the moon. Like that. Oh, damn it! I underestimate. Solar the... What? Solar says on. You keep cutting out. The Nell reference sheet. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? Is that good? Okay, on on my um, on my Alan Mel reference sheet, the one with both of them on it. Uh huh. There's one on there where Solar comments and says the mid right, the bottom mid right looks like Alistair heard someone swear in front of Mel, and he's like hugging her and shouting at the person. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Solar. <laughs> Oh, by the way, do not be surprised if he tries to jump scare you in a call because he's done that a few times. Have booga, I done booga, that? booga. You know Have it, didn't I do that? <laughs> Am I really gonna defile this great for money? Am I really gonna defile this thing for Of course I am! Well, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Peter, shut up! <laughs> You know, the last Remember time I had everyone... so Go ahead. Remember when everyone mistook you as Solar? That still pisses me off. Both me and Solar get so annoyed with that shit. We sound nothing alike. <laughs> <laughs> you sound a little Fuck alike. Fuck you. When I first met you. <laughs> when hey, I first Ryland, met you guys, you, you have battle alike. toads? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I have battle toes. They battled other toes. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, what time will it be? Um, I'm gonna look that up. Alright. A job fair, can you pick me up some cotton candy? Right. Oh. Uh, oh, it's the ghost level. Oh, it's a ghost level. It's it's one of those freaking castle ones. And yeah, man, and you don't stand a ghost of a chance here. That was just terrible. Yeah, go to the corner. Nobody, nobody is proud of that. What? It, it was in good spirit. Yeah, you okay. spirit my ass. You sound a fucking monotone on top of that. No, uh, there's a, there was a bit of a thing going on that Riley talked about where um, he used to work at GameStop and some asshole would call on the phone asking if uh, he had Battletoads. So we played this joke where we go like, hey, Riley, do you have Battletoads? No, oh, this is Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, question go question for Golden. What do you think of people on Facebook uh, making up Pokemon? Um, people like make... they're like making them up and like fusing them. I I personally love it. I love the idea. I well, think it's great. it really all depends on the creative liberties that they go for. I mean, it can go in two ways. Either it can be absolutely creepy, absolutely like anticlimactic, like oh yeah, because you want to make the most powerful Pokemon out there, or. You actually can take me by surprise. It's something that I would God, have to. Ma. I would have to take the experience for myself. Jump, 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 jump and jump and jump. You were originally called Jump Man. There's, there's one where they took a ghost type and. Whoa, that was a close one. I think her name is. It's on Twitter somewhere. I gotta find it. Oh shit! Damn. You know, it's gonna be really inconvenient for all these uh, uh, plants to be all over the place. I mean, what what purpose does it add to this ship? I mean, why would Bowser or any of the Koopas need such things? 
Master Cug, you haven't seen that one shore from. Do oh shit! 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 <laughs> no! I'm gonna get squashed! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Holmes says, Hi. Show Golden, did you happen to come across this on DeviantArt by any chance? Uh, and it's a picture of someone drew uh, Lightning Bliss as a PBS ad saying, This moment is brought to you by the Lightning Bliss show. Oh, God. I gotta take a look at this. It's in the <laughs> stream chat. Okay, so or I can send it to you uh, Discord. Yeah, like, send it to me, like, through a private message. Okay. Um, Actually, do I have you on my contact list? I might not, but I'll look at it. I'll have to, like, I'll, I'll consider okay. taking a look at it after I call this an episode. Um, there we go. Now um, I do. Hey! <laughs> hey oh. Hey -o. Yep. Hey -o. Now I just gotta wait until- Oh, shit! Until I finish this fucking stage and be done with it. Or die. <laughs> or die or of a horrible, painful death. Mm-hmm. Yay! Got done with the commission. By the way, Aeon, yeah. season the Wakan says um, hashtag tell Aeon boobs. Thank you, season. <laughs> By the way, I should point out it's not Wakan, it's Wiccan. Yeah, it's Wiccan. Wiccan. Okay. God damn it! I, w uh, I was just Wiccan. curious to see how long you would yeah. you would say it like that. All right. You know, like wick 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 wah wah wick wick. Wicka 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 wicka. I'm a hundred percent wicka. Gotta whack a whack a whack 'em. Whack 'em all. <laughs> Gotta remember that stupid game. Then there were like other knockoff ones, like you could pound uh, the heads of uh, crocodile, uh, like crocodile mouths. Yeah, I'm surprised oh. the SBCA didn't, uh, you know, cancel all those ones. You know, like hidden gophers and alligators. You know, that's something they would be interested in. I'm sure you'd probably find that somewhere, like, I don't know, a to uh, what is it called? Like a Chuck E. Cheese. You know, they also had one called Discovery Zone. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Yes, I've been to. I've, I, I had the Discovery Zone when I was a little kid. Yeah, fun shit. I, I love, love that Puff. place. Riley's got a freaking Flufflepuff fl uh, plushie just right next to me. It's like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take care of this fuckhead. <laughs> On the the freaking satanic beach balls here. Whoa, Jesus! dancing on rainbows. Yeah, see, Nick knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Discovery Zone was my go-to when I was young. Easy Discovery Zone. <laughs> oh wait. How much texting me? Who's texting you? Uh, it's Mason. Hey, Mason. <laughs> Mason says, "Hey, are you alive?" I said, "Yes." Yeah. How heavy are your commissions right now? I'm offering you a break away from ponies. Thank you. <gasps> Please, what? I would you, like one. Oh, you can't leave ponies. No one can leave ponies. You're stuck okay. with them forever. Oh, that's right. I have a commission that I have yet to um, set in stone for you. <laughs> there we go. You drop down here. <laughs> Let's move Wait, over here. And... Yeah. Oh. To people who are either like in the, like in the stream paying attention to my Twitter or paying attention to the fact that I have Alistair and Melody oh, going on right now, I'm trying to slowly get out of ponies <gasps> just because uh, I feel like it's just a, in ponies at this point it's the training ground for me. I want to expand my interests and expand my abilities to more uh, difficult. It's really, yeah, no, it's really it's really just like a chapter for a lot of people with like you know yeah. whenever it comes to dedicating anything with ponies and what you work with it's eventually you, you prepare yourself to become much more universal and upon doing that um, it like it's just a matter of whether or not you're gonna be able to stick with it um, I mean, like I mean I'll draw ponies 
Oh yeah, no, but, like, I, I don't mean just artists, like, editors, like, I've been doing, like, a lot of MLP reviews, but I've also been doing movie reviews recently, and mm -hmm. there's been other plans to do outside of ponies, so I'm pretty much in the good to, like, move on after ponies. <gasps> Will you stop that master code? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, hang on. All right, uh, going past that after burner. Yes, I'm going to call it that. I can't call them flamethrowers because they just turn on and off. All right, jump over here. Well, you can't really call them afterburners because they're not flight simulators. He wants me to make banner art. So I'm going to be making a thumbnail, furry art, and Shit. a banner. Only one more hit. Make it! What? what? I was on top of him! What the fuck was that? That was complete horse shit. Oh my god. He jumped on, well, he he jumped hit, on he the more of a shell. Yeah, the stream likes, so. <laughs> god damn it. Well, that didn't do anything. I have one life left. Wait a second. Do I restart the world, or am I going to be sent back to the beginning of the game? Mason, are you asking me? To I'm, I'm asking. Make a my, I'm really. I'm really asking myself. No, I, no. This person on uh, my Discord. Oh. He's like, I really think you should, you know, make your channel more about animations, like how Jaden and the Odd Ones Out does their thing, where they tell stories through animations. It's their I'm thing. I'm saying to him, I'm saying to him, but my my life isn't interesting enough for animations. <laughs> Plus, there's Alan Mel. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really up to you. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Okay, now he's done for. Uh, okay, everybody in the chat's going to me now. Tell Master Code, say, hey, Goldie, I want to play a game. And that creepy voice. You're kind of cut <laughs> out a bit. Uh, well, tell, well, yeah, what was that? <laughs> tell Master Code, say, hey, Goldie, I want to play a game. In that creepy voice he did earlier. Oh my god. You are not hey, Jigsaw. You want to play a game? <laughs> I want to play a game. I've seen the one where, um, like, the it's Jigsaw as a roommate. Ooh, those would be useful for. No, I, I see that one. That one's great. Mm hmm. All right, so I should wrap this up and call this an episode. Holy shit, I'm over 35, like, 38 minutes in. Yeah.